Hi traders and welcome for today's recap. So guys, actually today I thought that we're going to see a green day in the markets, both in the S&P and the Qs, because we're extremely extended for the downside, which is great. Let's hope this year all, everything will crash. But today I thought that we'll bounce. We opened with a nice gap up, moved under the low and then spiked higher. So I thought, okay, that was a false breakdown and now we're going to move up. So I took four longs, AFRM, OSTK, Roblox and DKNG. And actually, the only stock that I mentioned pre-market was DKNG. I talked about DKNG for a long, and why is that? Because of its daily chart. You can see that DKNG, if you remember, we traded DKNG at 60, 50, 40, and now it's 18. So you can see the eye of this day is 1948. And today, pre-market time, I saw that the eye of DKNG pre-market is 1949. And every time that the stock touched 49, 48, 50, I know that we're probably going to see it moving above 1950. And why is that? Because stocks attract to one number and to semi-one numbers. So today, when the market opened, I posted DKNG for a long year, above this candle. 1950 with 20 cent stop loss, long. The stock moved down sharply, and then I said, okay, I'm still thinking that we're going to see it moving above 1950, so I will build my position. I took half share size above 1930, above this candle, spiked me in, and then I added above 1950. Beautiful move, took my first target when it reached to 1982, that was here, and then I took another target when it moved above 20, and I just closed everything 20, that was 40, yeah, 2040 something. So you can see the KNG 2500, almost four risk units, three, more than three risk units, because I added and I managed this trade correct. Now, let's talk about AFRM. So AFRM, I, uh, I went long AFRM. Again, I thought that we're going to see it moving over the highs. I took it above, I placed an order above 37.15. It spiked lower. I said, okay, that was a false, that was only a spike. I took it above 37.80. Nice entry. I almost added above 37.15. Luckily, I did not because then it moved down sharply. I waited. Okay, now I'm and stopped out. Stopped out under this line because I, I thought that after we move under the lows, maybe we'll see it moving up again, but then the VWAP used a very strong resistance, so I stopped out in AFRM. It took small share size, but my stop loss was lower than... Uh, I closed it much longer after my stop loss. Exactly the same in Roblox. RBLX took it for a long year nice entry and then it moved against me and then I waited for this candle to finish and I closed it under 47.60 Roblox now let's talk about OSDK okay so OSDK beautiful daily chart you can see we're extended for the downside we open with a gap up and then I saw beautiful reversal on the view up nice I missed it and then I, I saw another beautiful reversal on the view. And then I said, okay, we're a bit extended, both in the Qs and the S&P. We're moving down. I'll place an order above 49.10. Okay, it moved lower. I placed an order above 48.50. And then when it moved sideways, I said, you know what? 48.50, I think it could easily work. And I took it for a long year, spiked me in, and then I closed it under... I waited for it to move under 47, and then I placed my stop loss 46.40 under this line and that was a huge that was a big stop loss it took only 1000 shares guys from 48.50 to 46.50 that means 2k and at the slip edge and, and get bad fulfillment so uh, I, I i took small share size because this is always tk and i mentioned in the room guys extremely volatile it looks like a normal stock but it's moving in points so i should have listened to myself because i took only 1000 shares and i stopped out more more than two points and that's why I'm finishing this day a minus 2k but that's okay part of the game yesterday I made four so I'm green this week which is great and the only trade the only lesson that I can give you today the only tip is to trade what you meant to trade I mean DKNG I followed it I followed it today and I said I'm going to take it for a long because of its daily chart but and that's the first trade I took today DraftKing but then I took over the K, Roblox, DKNG. So next time I need to follow my own trades first and then to go to the room. 
Yesterday I said exactly the opposite, but that's part of the game of trader. You need to adapt yourself to change. And guys, tomorrow and the day after tomorrow, I'm not going to trade. So here are my results for this week. Today, I'm, yesterday I made four. Today I'm down two. And that's it. Thank you all for watching my recaps. Appreciate it. If you like this video, please subscribe. And if you are not subscribers, please press the like button. And I'll see you all next week. Bye, traders. Thank you for watching.